but the Delta variant is still spreading across the country. Now scientists are reporting a new version, that Delta Plus. ABC 7 News reporter Luce Pena spoke to infectious disease experts who are studying this variant and are concerned a booster shot of the vaccine might be needed. She joins us live now from the newsroom. Luce. Dion, just to give some perspective as to how fast these variants are mutating. In May, the World Health Organization declared the Delta variant as a variant of concern. Now, fast forward to July. Now we have cases of the Delta Plus in the U.S. Accounting for nearly 36% of COVID cases sequenced in June across California is the Delta variant. By now, many have heard of it, but have they heard about its new mutation? Have you heard about the Delta Plus? No. Working to stay ahead of these mutations and studying the Delta variant is UCSF's Dr. Nevin Krogan and his team. What's the difference between the Delta and the Delta Plus? Well, the Delta variant has um, 18 different mutations. Uh, seven of them are in the uh, spike protein. The Delta Plus variant has an additional mutation in spike, which some people are, are saying is resulting in increased transmissibility. Last week, Dr. Krogan met with close to 50 scientists in New York City to understand how the Delta variant is mutating and morphing into new strains like the Delta Plus. It's mutating um, compared to other viruses in incredibly um, quickly. And I think a big part of that is because there's a significant percentage of people who get infected that are asymptomatic. So the world's really a, a huge petri dish. UCSF's infectious disease specialist Dr. Monica Gandhi says the Delta Plus variant is a vital example of the need for a global vaccination plan. The Delta variant was first detected in India, then it mutated into the Delta Plus, and now is in the U.S. It looks like the Delta Plus variant has been detected in Utah. But the vaccine continues to prove effective against these variants. When we get protection from the vaccines, you form what are called T cells across 85 parts of the spike protein. So losing 11 to 13 places on the spike protein, you still have very strong T cell immunity from the vaccines. Is there a chance that there will be a need for a booster shot because of the Delta and the Delta Plus variants? There is a chance of that, like older people. I think it's going to be a decision that the United States makes and they're likely to emulate the UK and Israel, whether older people and immunosuppressed patients need a third shot. Now, more data needs to be collected to confirm if the Delta Plus is more transmissible than the Delta variant. What we know now is that the Delta variant is the dominant variant in California. And according to experts, the more unvaccinated people there are, the more places these variants have to continue mutating. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC 7 News. All right, well, Luz, for those who are maybe not medical experts, do you know if there could possibly be a Delta Plus Plus as this mutation cycle continues? Dan, I did ask that, and yes, according to infectious disease doctors, all these variants, if given the chance, can and will continue to mutate. Normally, we don't really hear about these mutations because the majority don't have an effect on the virus, but some will actually help the virus infect others and mutate even faster. Back to you, Dion. Boy, something we need to watch very closely going forward. Luce, thank you.